sub points goal started. Hello, hello, hi. Hello, Callus. Hello, Gim. Hello, Cloud. Hello, Andromeda. Do you really think I have a sleep schedule? I don't. Um. Hello, Redemption. I'm already I'm already playing threes with two other people currently, as of right now. Hello, Twenty One. Hello, Braden. Wait, how many? F A Oh, wait, it's not that word? Zlon gifted 60 subscriptions to the community. Bro. What in the Okay, what in the actual fuck, bro? Like We reached our sub points goal. Did you did you actually hit Thank the fucking everyone. lottery recently or something? Before I forget, hello Kez, hello Double Moose, hello Cal, hello Fresh Joker, hi everyone. But dude, what the fuck? Except Ethereal Scars? Bro, you literally just gave me 90 subs like two days ago. What the fuck is happening? Are you... Thanks for the follow, Ethereal Scars. What the fuck? Dude, that's actually in Zealand. What the fuck? You've actually hit the fucking lottery. One sec in game. Did you? <laughs> did you just? Did you just fucking drop sixty while you're in the in between goals? In between goals, he's fucking scrambling to type. What the fuck? Actually, insane. Honestly, it's starting to feel that way, Callus. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, let me have fun in chat. My skin's like a mirror. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bro is 15 and got bank. There's no way Z lane up is 15. Shut the fuck up. I would f You're Gimthrick friend just shared 25 bits 50 out of 60 dollars towards the Elden Ring fund now. Oh my god. Oh, thanks for thanks for the 25 bits. You're 16. Let's go with Ethereal Scars.
Okay. Here's here's what I want you to do for me, Z Lane up, okay? You can refund subs, right? I'm pretty sure you can. Okay. Do I coach? I do not coach, no. I don't think Vekid saw my chat. Here's what I want you to do. Using your own debit card. I am so happy that you got money like that, bro. But I really can't help but feel that as someone who is so young, that the money that you are spending on me can't be like better used and like in your life. Like, I appreciate it so much, and I'm very grateful that you're choosing to drop it on me. Bro, like, I just... No refunds, no regrets. I appreciate you being so kind and wanting to help other people out, but like... Hi, Ginger. I think you know what I mean. Fuck, man. Just... No, listen, listen, listen. I really would like you to refund the subs that you just gifted but even if you are not gonna do that please like i let me turn this down i i genuinely i genuinely mean this like as much as it helps me out i don't want you to i don't want you to spend money that you might regret at some point going forward like i just want you to i don't know at your age i know sometimes get like you know getting across money it can feel like oh i have so much money i can spend it however i want trust me i was your age and i was working and had a job too but just like yeah anytime i don't know just please be more just be really mindful with how you spend your money and like you're very young like someone like double moose said you can save it up for college you can save it up for just you know important things in your life that yeah you might feel like you have a lot of money right now but i don't want you to i don't know i don't want you to make bad financial decisions that you might regret at some point or you know need money down the line and you know i don't like when people I don't like getting gifted subs or tips or anything financial when it's not money that people should probably be spending or giving me or whatever, you know? So I just just know that you being here and playing, you being here and you playing with me, hanging out in chat, following and supporting me in all those ways that don't cost any money is like, more than enough i just i don't know i just wanted to be serious there for a second because i did not know you were that young i thought i legit thought you were like 21 or some shit fours with callus type of night Okay. 
I was gonna say I don't even know what the convo is about, but I guess I know what you mean. Hi, Dave. I love you too. I don't know if you can refund subs. I get what you're saying. You have investments. The subs I give you are my fun money. I'm saying you're saying. Just know that I will not regret my someone who is more than deserving. I will not suffer from it. Okay, that makes that makes me feel a little bit better. But just please, like, I'm. I don't know like how much more serious I can be when I say it. Just please be very mindful of of your money spending and financial stuff, okay? Because, yeah, you're young. Hello, Emmanuel. How are we? One semester of textbooks going to cost you double what you spend on subs so far? No, it's, 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 blah, blah, blah. textbooks aren't are usually like a couple hundred, I would say, for when I was paying which is crazy to say that you can pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollar dollars for university or college and still you need to buy your own fucking materials. The education system here is fucking horrible. What's up, Orange Ninja? What's up, Kaleido? No, not bad timing. Not bad timing. I was just having a little a little talk with Z Lane up and to start off stream. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't have, unless I'm on Spotify Premium, I can't, so. I've been putting in songs automatically, but it's not bad. What countries will pay you to move there? That's so wild, Double Moose. Love that for education system. Was my question ever answered? Yes, it was. I said, I'm already playing threes with Vekage and Z lane up. Because it's pretty crazy. I've had, I've had to buy textbooks that cost in the hundreds. Take your MR? Okay, if you think you can do it. Um, if you look hard enough, there's plenty that are online, but not always the case. Or they're online, but still behind a paywall. Even on the mic, there's no way I sound 16. I, d I dead ass thought you were like in college or something, at least. 1660, bitch, that's literally your peak. I'm, s I'm, I'm like at my, I'm on my grinds, beginning my grinds at my lowest point, and I'm at your peak. How does that feel, bud? How does that feel, pal? Never step foot in. S Wait, you changed your name again? Gim Poop? The Pineapple Fanta? Uh, no, I'm talking about Orange Fanta. And I'm 20. He looked at Twitch bio. Either way, I'm glad we came to an understanding and we talked about that because I would not have felt right in my heart and in my body if I didn't say what I said. Italy isn't Italy literally like being run by like one of Benito Mussolini's like like granddaughter or something. 
I think I'm good. You don't spend above your means. Okay. As long as you truly mean that, we're chilling. Can't, I can't believe England are in the finals, but they're just going to lose again. Ireland's pretty cool, though. I don't know about Denmark, but Ireland would be cool. Italy is owned by Bermuda. No, I said Benito Mussolini's granddaughter. She's like prime minister or something. You were definitely here interested, and I appreciate you for saying what you did. Okay. As long as we're on the same page, Z lane up, we're chilling. Robbed at knife point is crazy. Kez, have you been robbed at knife point? Wait, hold on. I like this up. Who is the prime minister of Italy? George, Georgia Maloney. Who is... Populist Italian. Georgia Maloney is set to become Italy's first female prime minister and lead its most right wing government in decades. Honestly, we just, yeah, we just got to bring back just plain old Benito Mussolini fascism. Why not? Whatever. It's only really bad in London and Birmingham. New Zealand and such that's paid to move there. Get robbed via butter knife. I'll chef you up, mate. I'll chef you up real good. Run, run me your pockets weakling is crazy. Just so something about adding weakling to the end of that really makes it. That's insane. Excuse me. I'm going to wait for Vekic to invite me. Hand over your sub money. How did my hair removal thing go? What's up, Benny? How are you? It hurt. It hurt pretty bad, but not like unbearable. I did all the way up my legs, my arms. And like, honestly, it's not. It hurts pretty bad, but it's not like. It's not unbearable pain. Good night, Orange Ninja. Do I have a GF? I've had a GF for. Coming up on two years. Was it as bad as my arms? In terms of pain, probably either like just as bad or like maybe like a little bit worse, but it really wasn't. It's like pretty painful, but it's not unbearable. Was it sore? No, the, sore, the soreness only lasts for like one night you know you do it at night and you're you're pretty much good by the morning how long does it last for it well it basically is just like plucking hairs out so usually you have to keep doing it like you know, every other week every week every other week something like that isn't wax just like super fast yeah, it's also super bad for your skin. And it also super rips out pieces of your skin. Did I get laser? No, no, I'm talking about epilating. 
Rocket League player to uh, with a GF. She's sleeping on the bed behind me. Hey, that's what I like to see. Brother got W Riz. Pound it, my guy. You're banned. Okay, and... Waxing doesn't even do as good of a job. <clears throat> it's a lot less thorough. A lot less thorough. A lot more damaging on your skin. And... Yeah, it's just not worth it. You should try <clears throat> beat that Rocket League bot. The the new one that like beats pros. What about using a cheese grater? That might work. Do we live together? No, she lives uh she lives with her family and I live with my family. She's been looking at apartments though. You're describing the worst experience of life, and then go, and I have it to do it every other week. It's not the worst experience of my life. It hurts. Do you not think waxing doesn't hurt, too? Waxing probably lasts not as long or just as long. Costs more money. And it's way worse for your skin. I can't, cause I can't wait. Trust me. You saw Mercy vid. Wait, what about Mercy vid? Well, first we know money's not an issue. That's not even true. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure I watched that video too, cause. Appellating, put it this way, appellating is better for sensitive skin, it's more thorough, cheaper because I already have the epilator. yes it does take more time, and yes it does spread the pain out over a longer time period, but it gets easier over time because your hairs grow back thinner, and your hairs grow back like more fine. Like the work, everyone who epilates says the most pain you're going to have epilating is your first time. Everyone says even like your second time, it gets a lot better. Mike Smooch, Mwah, I got you. Rate your friend's song? Okay, let's hear this. If this is fucking dog shit, I'm gonna say it. Let's see. Does it make your body not grow hair as fast? Well, there's a big difference between plucking and shaving. When you shave, you're just shaving the hair down to, like, your skin. But when you pluck, you're plucking the hair out at the root. Which is why it hurts more, but which is also why it's more effective. It's... Listen, is it absolutely torture? No. Does it hurt? Yeah, obviously. But that's just kind of how hair removal is. Hair removal hurts. Unless you're shaving or trimming. If you're waxing, threading, plucking, epilating... It's gonna hurt. You're plucking hair out of your fucking skin. Of course it's gonna hurt. But it's not unbearable. It's not torture. And like I said, it gets easier over time. And the more you do it, the more you get used to it, the easier it gets. And the faster you get. Does it make your body not grow hair as fast? I only ever shaved normally. Waxing sounds painful. I mean, yeah, you definitely should not be waxing or epilating or plucking hairs on your face. That would be a bad idea. Second degree burn. Oh, wait, Emmanuel, thanks for the idea. 
Your girl always wants to pluck your eyebrows and that shit hurts. Plucking my eyebrows is literally child's play. I've been plucking my eyebrows for so long that like... I don't even know. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. It hasn't hurt for a long time. It did hurt at first though. Threading still kind of hurts sometimes. What is hair? Do you not have hair on your body? Shave. Oh, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. Stop. Don't shave your eyebrows. I'm going to puke. Stop. 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 Uh, 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 no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Just the Middle. That's wrong. Don't do that. Fuck. Hi, Vizui. That is not how you're supposed to take care of your eyebrows. I'm going to flip out. Either pluck them yourself or get them threaded. I'm already playing threes with some people, Dev. It's like trees? Your What? You have a nice unibrow? High Dark Demise. You're too low anyways. It's fine. That's crazy. Your bitch ass is probably like 1,500 in threes. Hi, platypus. You have old Paps caterpillar eyebrows. Dude, if you motherfuckers have thick brows, for the love of God, just get them threaded. It's literally $10. You're 1800. Yeah. I guess everyone gets lucky here and there. I'm actually 2000. It's not even it's not even uh updated actually. Yeah, 1800 would not be fun with 1600. Um, but dude, no, do please, for the love of God, do not be using a razor anywhere near your eyebrows. You inept, you in, inept man, anti-hygienic freaks. You, dude, just invest in getting a tweezer. A good tweezer will run you like 10 15 bucks and all you have to do is pl pluck i say all you have to do it does take a while at first but you just you pluck the hairs and you shape your eyebrows into a nice shape yes one by one one it lasts longer two it's better for your skin you're not constantly irritating that area with shaving it and three, it's cheap. I mean, I don't want to say it's cheaper. It's not like you're using a lot of shaving, but like, I, I don't even know what to say. Listen, listen, I guarantee that any of you have a threading place near you. Go to a, th go to a threading spa, threading place. It costs ten dollars and then put it this way yes listen yes it's gonna hurt yes it's gonna be uncomfortable yes it's gonna hurt yes it's gonna be uncomfortable but once you get it threaded for the first time once you get it threaded for the first time they're gonna shape your eyebrows up nice and all you have to do in between your threading appointments is just pluck the hairs that grow on the outside of the shape of your eyebrows. So easy. And then 
you only you only have to get your eye like I only go like every four to six weeks. You don't have to go super frequently. It's cheap, and it, having nice, well kept eyebrows makes a world of a difference for your face. I promise you. What the fuck is Vekage doing? I'm gonna freak out. What is motherfucker doing? I need to show y'all some good before and afters. Hi, Fugu. I should make a beat on stream. I have literally no musical talent whatsoever. Bro, look at... Look at this. I think there's there might be some makeup used here, too, to fill in some spaces. I could be wrong, though, but... Well, look at this. Look how fucking awesome that looks. Why would you not want to have sexy ass eyebrows? Look at this. Look at the difference. It literally, dude, it it changes how your face looks. I don't no no listen I don't think thick eyebrows are bad thick eyebrows if they're maintained thick eyebrows if they're maintained look nice but bro if you if you're taking a razor and you're just going oh oh me oh me unibrow is growing again <laughs> just fucking put a razor in the middle of your eyebrows every time you think about doing that just think about how I want to punch you in the throat how about that you're going to get cooked by X and A players hey it could be a good learning experience hi Devin wait Dave you said you groomed your eyebrows what did you do to groom your eyebrows it's through channel points Callus. Um, bro, look at this. Are you going to try? There is literally not. There is literally not a single person in the entire world that you can show me a before and after of them getting their eyebrows shaped where I would say, oh, wow, they look a lot better. You know, they look, it looks, uh, their eyebrows look a lot more, you know, kept and nice. Yes, I'm on Spotify because I got it for free somehow. It does not do it automatically. I have to do it myself, but it takes one second, so I don't really care. Hey, peace out, 21. You know what? Just because you said that, I hope you get fucking thrashed in your tournament tomorrow. This is what threading is, by the way. You see this? It's what they do, the place I go to. I mean, I'm sure it's the same in every place. They have, like, these, like, magical fucking... They have, like, these magical fucking strings. And they fucking, like, 
pluck the hairs out with the string. It's sick. Yo, Cal, no comment. No comment, Cal. No comment. You took bathroom scissors and cut the runaways? That's nice. Hey, cutting the runaways is a great start to eyebrow grooming. Look at this. This looks beautiful. Look, these are the. Look at this. No comment, cow. Oh, shut the hell up. But, um. I promise you, eyebrow care is a lot. It's a lot less uh, scary than it might seem. What the hell? Bro went to get his eyebrows threaded and got his head shaved. They look nice, though. Anyway, get your eyebrows shaped properly, please. Do not put a razor anywhere near your eyebrows. Look, this is the only razor you should ever be putting on near your eyebrows. Sometimes, after I get my eyebrows threaded, I pluck out any of the hairs they missed. Sometimes, I'll, I have, like, these eyebrow razors that I'll take in to be, like, extra, extra fine. But it is, other than that, do not put eye razors near your eyebrows. That's so gross, Callus. I hate that. I feel like th that honestly might be a mistake that a lot of people make in their life going through their eyebrows. Trump or Biden 2024? Wait, is that? What is what is this? That's just AI. Cocaine stack. Bro, who is giving the who is giving these AIs? $28,000 each. Does it back invited? Yeah, on God, Vizui. What? <laughs> why, why does AI Biden actually have like the mental lapses of real Biden? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is wild. Maybe it's only reading kick or something. 
Okay. Funny, funny how the AI versions of Trump and Biden are somehow still more well spoken and make more sense than the real versions. If she don't want to hawk to her, then I don't want to talk to her. Barstool humor. I'd love to see you react to your own PAPS AI emulator. I would not want to see that. <sighs> of course it does, Kez. Bro, that, okay, can we be real for a second? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Callus. Uh, I will not be queuing six mans right now. The new Eminem album might actually be... Uh, the new Eminem album might actually be a 2 out of 10. I'm not even joking. Oh, Hawk 2 is unfunny too. Bro, she, she actually tried the, she's actually trying to make a career out of like a 10 second meme. AI Drake versus AI Kendrick debate. That goes so hard though. There's an app that will TTS your own voice. Wait, really? That might be kind of cool. I'll listen and give you ratings this weekend. Please, God, don't. <sighs> Thanks, Fugu. Did I actually listen? Yes, I listened to multiple songs. It's, it's pretty hard to get through even one song without some sort of like slur or transphobic or whatever it's really really bad dude have you been seeing everyone's reaction to it pretty much everyone is saying how fucking horrible it is so i don't know what the hell like genuinely what do y'all see in that album or you at least and man not even here anymore all you've seen is praise I've literally seen the complete opposite. I've seen like, I've seen TikToks with like almost a million likes talking about how shit it is. People are saying it's album of the year. Bro, literally the only people saying that are like millennial white people. Everyone loves to hate him. Kez, oh my god, Kez, Kez. He literally... He is literally saying transphobic shit. Just transphobic shit, bigoted shit in general, homophobic shit. Like, what do you mean everyone loves to hate him? Yeah, everyone loves to hate him because he's a piece of shit. Oh, you're bringing Marshall Mathers back out. You're gonna regret it. Bro, you're 51. For the love of God, retire, please. Oh, Marshall's coming back out. You're not gonna like him this time. Dude, you're nearing retirement age. For the love of God, please. Like, bro, like, this recent Eminem album is very clearly him foraying more and more into being conservative, into being reactionary, into, like, trying to be as offensive and as edgy as possible. Clearly. He talks about, he literally said, you trying to cancel me, bruh? Trying to Gen Z me, bruh? Like, bro, are, are you serious?
that bar was cringe? Bro, there's so many like that. He talks about getting canceled like every other song. We're talking about Eminem. He has a trans kid. Yo, who gives a fuck? Yeah, and I'm sure that racist guy has a black friend. Eminem has not released a good album since like 2004. And even then, I don't... Calling them good is debatable. I think a good way of putting it is he had his time. People like him are a relic of the past and then they need to stay in the past. Is it the tweet where it's like Eminem raps like this, cinnamon, nimmin, nimmin, and it ends with just saying the F slur? That's a pretty good one, too. Hi, Junkie Moon. Trans... I mean, that's literally... That is a very good... That's a very good way to put it, Dav. But, like, let's be real. Even back then, Eminem was, like, incredibly homophobic and misogynistic and, like, objectively a bad person. Eminem has, like, always been a bad person. Every rapper was... I think a very important message in your chat was, was. Eminem, not, Eminem isn't was, Eminem is still. Yeah, Chris Brown, Chris Brown still having a career is pretty insane too. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm going to be serious for a second. Like, how do you, like... Fuck, I'm trying to say this without, like, personally being mean or, like, personally attacking. But, like... How... I'm, like... Okay. Let me put it this way. <clears throat> so, you... I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll be specific because, you know, I feel like that makes it easier to get the point across. So, you, Kaz, are a person that you would, a lot of people would describe as woke, you know, for lack of a better word. You understand the plight of marginalized groups. You understand the discrimination and hate trans people face. You understand why saying slurs is bad and and so on and so forth so i'm just curious how or i just saying oh just curious that's just a cringe way to put it i'm wondering how like you understanding all of those things can also at the same time like kind of like turn your brain off and like enjoy music that is like going against all of those things that you know and believe right so that's what i'm kind of saying like how can you sit there and be like you know besides all the slurs and transphobic bars and you know all this other horrible shit he says uh it's pretty good do you know what i'm saying does that not does that not make sense Like, you, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, you understand how harmful that language is and how, like, horrible it can make people feel. 
so I just don't I don't understand how with that knowledge and with your with your wokeness you at the same time can like enjoy that album because cracker jokes are funny Belly laughed at this one. Had to wake up to my pregnant wife to show her. Awesome. That is such a 55-year-old dad comment. Like, I don't think I explained that in, like, an aggressive... I don't think I explained that in, like, a really aggressive, like, demeaning tone, right? Like, I'm not... Like, please, I'm not trying to be demeaning. I'm not trying to be patronizing i'm not trying to be an asshole like i'm genuine like i'm genuinely curious i mean hey i'm sure some of the beats are fire but even then some of the beats i didn't listen to the whole the whole album but some of the beats i heard on those songs were fucking dog shit too <laughs> I think the best part of the album was the was the Jid verse. Am I wrong? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Dav, that's called the whataboutism and not relevant to the current conversation. And also, I believe that Mercy is a good person that has done some not so good things. that in or not okay i think mercy is a good person and has his head set on head screwed on right and has been obviously changing for the better over time i've had like many conversations with him about like serious topics and like the whole time i'm like yeah he's spitting doesn't mean he's perfect. Doesn't mean he hasn't made mistakes or done things that might be hypocritical. But like I said, then again, I don't think it. I don't think the things he he has done directly takes away from like what he says and believes. Kez, a stupid lyric would be like, I took a poopy in my pants, call it poopy pants. I would think that's like, that's probably a stupid lyric. But being like, everything's gay, trans people are gross and weird, I hate Caitlyn Jenner. I think that's probably a little bit more than stupid. I think stupid's kind of, I think, I think, stupid is not an apt word to put some of his lyrics it's like motherfuckers are literally vibing to eminem music going to yep trans people are gross <laughs> yep caitlin jenner's a man <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh oh yeah you tell him shady oh you tell him marshall oh you're offending the whole world i bet oh nobody can cancel eminem <laughs> tell these snowflakes how it is that's literally the Eminem, the Eminem crowd. Do I want to see a real bad bar? Yeah, send me on Discord. Like, I just think saying what, like, Eminem is, like, m very clearly. Um, you could either send the Spotify link. When you do song request, either send the Spotify. How did I not save that? Spotify link or a name of the song, name of the artist.
Eminem is just so... Bro, I even saw... I even saw the head juicer himself reacting to the Eminem album. And he was saying, nah, bro, this is so corny. I can't even listen to this. That's how you know it's 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 tough. You have eight brains like XQC unable to enjoy it. Farted so hard that I sharted. My ass is R worded. I got Mo downs than pronouns. Call me Mr. R worded. Melissa, period. Is this? <laughs> is, that, is, is that is that a bar? Do you listen to that and go, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Shady Cook. Oh, did I just get baited? I literally wouldn't even... Like, that's the thing, bro. I wouldn't even be surprised if that was real. What is your name? That's Wag, bitch. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, that one's really bad to you, Cal. Eminem has been... Like, bro, I... Fuck. You have to keep in mind... Y'all have to keep in mind that this is coming from the perspective of someone who... Eminem used to be my favorite artist. Eminem used to be the only artist I listened to for years. I loved Eminem. I knew multiple songs by heart. I thought he was awesome. But that was also a time in my life where I thought saying slurs was funny. I thought being homophobic was funny. I thought hating women and being mean to women and saying how they're all bitches and all they do is cheat in their whores. I thought that was funny. I feel like, I don't know. Okay, baking. Like, I'm sorry. I just feel like Eminem makes music for like just edgy white people. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just keeping it real. He makes music for, for edgy white kids or just millennials that refuse to get with the times. He makes music for, for like that reactionary person at work that pulls up their phone and goes, huh, bro, you gotta listen to this new shady bar. <laughs> he really gonna trigger people with this one. I stole from your chat and then made it better. Keza's brain is not actually 12, even though he is an enjoyer of cum and fart jokes. I feel like this is a very similar situation to like Callus accepting Ronaldo as like a bad person. I'm um, that's the that's the vibes I'm getting. But I'll, I'll drop it if you don't, if you don't want to. I understand that like people that you've idolized in the past, it can be hard to kind of like come to terms with their shittiness and their negative impact on the world. But I mean, it's just something that you'll probably get like with time or whatever, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying that it's a similar situation. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like the reason I... I feel like the reason that I find it really easy to cut off... To cut off people, especially that I don't know, like celebrities or influencers or something, when I find out they're bad people, is, like, I've done it so many times that, like, I just don't really care anymore. I just, like, accept that, yeah, people that I might like are not worth supporting anymore because they're actually not great human beings.
bro, you should have heard the you should have heard me and me talking about it with my mom and brother dab. It was really bad. I never bring it up. I don't hate you. I didn't say, dude, I was simply saying that it's it's a conversation that has happened within the last week and it's very similar. It's a very similar situation and what Kez just said proves that I'm right. Kez is biased. He grew up, he grew up listening to Eminem and hasn't yet processed, you know, that maybe these, maybe Marshall Mathers isn't so cool. I'm not. Gim, would you like me to play a real song? I'll take your points. I love this song. I love Chapel Roan so much. Chapel Roan, please be a good person. Don't be bad. I love your music a lot. The reason I brought it up, dude, you act like I brought it up for literally no reason and there's no connection. It's quite literally a very similar situation, just a this different person. Oh, I'm fucking cooked. Oh. God damn, hold Q for a sec. <laughs> Can we get a poll on who you hate more, Ronaldo or Eminem? Um, I would say Ronaldo, probably, in the grand scheme of things. Hi, Karen. Bro, Z Lanup gifted 60 more subs today. You grew up listening to Eminem, but now he's too cringe. I am exact the same way. Chapel is a lesbian and denied the White House invitation to perform for Pride because of Palestine. I, I think Chapel Roan just may be my new favorite artist. I think she is. I love her a lot. She's awesome. Do you think I, I'd be dying on the Eminem cross? Probably. Zealand up gifted 60 more. Actually crazy. What's the story behind Zero Sugar Fanta? It's really good. And I like it a lot. That's really it. Hi, Russell. It's she's so good, Callus. Eminem, you did it again. Offending the libs. The thing it, dude, Eminem, not only is he like a piece of shit with like what he talks about in his content, he also just makes bad music so he's so he's a piece of shit and it's bad music at least like at least if you're gonna be like a piece of garbage at least make your music good hi twin paps try to drink water challenge bro i've literally Okay. Water is too boring. I, I literally already... You're already behind. I started a water tracking thing. I The funny part is, I probably literally drink more water than, than so many of you in chat that insult me about my water intake. I should listen to Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald is like Eminem if Eminem was even worse. That's probably a good way to put Tom McDonald. Oh, Fax is so good. 
Did you hear that part when Ben Shapiro was spinning? Oh, shit, I didn't play the Eminem song. My bad. Oh, fuck. Redemption, I didn't cue your song either. Can you, um... Can you give me the link again or whatever? My bad. I just realized I didn't cue your song and Dave's song. My fault. Thank you. I, I'm going to put it in right now. If I don't play your song or whatever, please let me know so I can put it in. Cause sometimes I will forget or miss it. You think you drink too much water? I mean, like, I've been drinking my recommended amount per day. I drink, I drink like, 2,100 milliliters a day. 2.1 liters. That's what I've been doing every day since I've been tracking. And it's, like, not a different... It's, like, pretty much how much water I drink anyways. My fave... M album when I listened to him I listened to his first album a lot I knew let's see I they could never make me hate you Chapel Roan I used to listen to, sorry, Eminem has fucking 80 albums. Let me just scroll through them real quick. Infinite, that's what it's called. Or wait, no. The Slim Shady LP. That was probably the one I listened to the most. You learned to Musty a few days ago? Hell yeah. I don't know. I would have to go through and actually, like, listen to determine if I actually think they're good still or not. But I used to enjoy them. I don't know. Pretty much all of Eminem's music is just riddled with slurs and stupid, like, bigoted shit. There's like sometimes a good message in his older music, like wrapped in between. It's like it's like a pile of poop wrapped together with like a nice bow. But sometimes there's like a decent message there. Hi Em, how are you? I'll make sure I put all the music out of this game. Pretty much all of Eminem's music now is just like catering to a specific type of reactionary conservative person. Hi, Exitious. Speaking of Brawl Stars, where's Christino at? What's Christino's trophy count? Yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of artists either took a turn for the worst or we kind of just realized how shitty they've been the whole time and like have just kind of like woke up to the shittiness you know i think both of those are true Uh... 
Fuck, this is this song's making me cringe knowing how he is. I am. I am. Whatever you say, I am. Yeah, I'm homophobic, and I made a song about murdering my wife, and made it really graphic, and I all talk about uh, really horrible things all the time, but there's like no reason to not like me. I'm like a good guy. I'm a good guy. I just say slurs and stuff, and hate gay people, and hate women, and uh, where was I? Yeah, but like other than that, I'm pretty cool. I can freestyle. God. Like, Eminem, you're not some fucking, like, underdog, that person that gets hated on for no reason. You say... Oh, fuck, I'm, like, arguing with a song right now. <laughs> I'll shut up. It's just making me cringe. That is one thing that, like, what he just said. That is one thing that, like, Eminem, I feel like, has been good about his entire career. I think, like, there was, like, a concert when he was drunk and he, like, said the N-word. Like, in 1997 or something. But I think, like, other than, like, that moment is the one that I see the most often. Like, I don't, like, Eminem has been very, like, very pro-black, not... Like, not on, like, any racist shit or whatever, which is, I guess, a W. It's obviously good. I'm not surprised, considering his upbringing. It would be very strange if someone like him was, like, anti-black, but, you know, there's a, there are white rappers that are anti-black, so not exactly a uncommon thing. Cough, cough. Tom McDonald's. Macklemore is another great example of a white person that is that speaks about oh that hurts. That speaks about like black culture and how he's like a visitor. He's a visitor into black culture and using his voice for good and stuff. Macklemore is obviously, if you want to use a word, he's a lot more woke than Eminem, more progressive, whatever. You know, talking about Palestine, you know, more than that, but just a recent thing. I may, I may not like Macklemore's music, but I do, I do know that he's a good person, so that's good. I need to lock in so we can win this game. They scored at zero second. Oh my god, I didn't even see Vector's been rolling. You got full boost, I believe in you. Nice. Nice. Leave that mid boost for him. That's fine too. Oh, pop off. No, I had that. That's so sad. I probably had a shot there. Wait. <laughs> Fuck, stop bumping me. <laughs> I totally thought he's going to turn up for that. Wait, did I win it? Let's go. Fuck. 
Frank Ocean kills bugs. Cancelable or nah? Nah, he's good. We rock with Frank Ocean. Is Diddy still on the run? Is Diddy like not in jail? He does an Eric Cartman impression. It's pretty funny because Eric Cartman is literally purposely made to be a really bad person. And I think it's very funny because some people like idolize Eric Cartman when they don't realize that Cartman is literally like a satire on probably shit that they actually believe or say. Notice how Eminem sounds today exactly how he did 20 years ago. I mean, in fairness, that's most of the rap industry. No, it is not. That is not just c concealed in the rap industry people have been making some pretty shitty music with some pretty shitty messages like look at like look at like some metal so like there are so many metal bands that are just like fucking nazis like it is not concealed to the rap industry but obviously it also is a part of the rap industry but trust me people have been saying slurs and being horrible and for a long time across many genres. Crazy how people get pros being normal. Macklemore is extremely supportive of Palestine as well. Yeah, I, I was saying that a little bit. His song, White Privilege, is important. Macklemore, um a bit did eminem had a racist how can you idolize a fucking south park character dude it's it's funny like i said cartman is literally made to be a horrible person like cartman is literally a nazi i've seen people i've seen people post south park clips to try to prove their political point and it's so funny because like bro you're using like a south park eric cartman clip to try to to try to prove like your anti-transness the bar is pretty low if not being racist is a dub i mean dude trust me y'all are not wrong about that y'all are not wrong about not being racist being a dub i'm just simply saying that that is like i guess at least one thing that i've noticed that eminem doesn't have as a strike against him but i just saw kez say that apparently he had a racist album which is awesome. I can't even be nice to Eminem and give him a small W because he, of course he, of course he also released a fucking racist album because why not? Because of fucking course he did. Role model Eminem. Yep. I used to love this song too. I guarantee I'm going to listen to this and cringe just like I listened to and cringed the way I am. LeBron is definitely a perfect person. LeBron is the definition of a perfect person. Yeah. What is this quality? Fair enough, Dave. Yeah. Unfortunately, LeBron has some pretty shitty takes and stuff.
That is true. This is like 80s rap. Yeah, this literally was my goat. This was my goat. I was like, dude, I love Eminem. He's so funny. Eminem is so funny and he spits and he always like fucking, he just says it how it is. Eminem just tells it how it is and people get mad. They're such pussies. That literally was me saying that shit. Uh... Okay, I think... I think I've heard enough. Okay, well, I guess I can't say that Eminem. <laughs> I can't even give Eminem the W of being like not, <laughs> not racist. Because of course, of course, he's also fucking released a, a racist mixtape. Because why the fuck not? It's great. It's really awesome. It got leaked in 2004. I mean, to be fair, that is a long time ago. Has he made, like, any statements on it or whatever? I don't... I don't... I don't, I don't know. I don't care what Eminem has to say. I can't lie. I fucking hate Eminem. I fucking hate Eminem. I hate him. I hate him. I can't believe he used to be my goat. I can't believe it used to be my goat. I've already put your stupid bullshit songs in the queue. I can I can analyze them and see how much I hate them now too. Y'all should go ahead and like my YouTube that I just went live on. That'd be pretty epic in my opinion. Does this work? Why do it? Like, the bot commands just simply don't work for some reason. I have Nightbot moderated and, like, in my channel. It's a great screen cap. But I don't know why it's not working. Oh, wait, it did work. Never mind. Okay, anyways, yeah, y'all should go ahead and drop a like on my YouTube live. Can we get to, can we get to five likes? Can we get to five likes, perhaps? How are we feeling about that? I thought you were female. I thought you were female. I thought you were female until you talked. Made fun of her repping. I mean, yeah, obviously. Oh my fuck. Cool, cool. I just didn't see that. Awesome. Cool. Cool. I hate you, JK. I guess you're all right. Can we get... This is so sad. We just found out that Eminem released a racist album in like 1995. This is so sad. Can we get 10 likes? Can we get 10 likes on the YouTube live stream? Dab, I still think it's so crazy how many accounts you have access to.
I mean, yeah, I don't think I don't think someone can't like recover from being racist and like educate themselves and learn why it was so wrong. I don't think like that's irredeemable if he takes the right steps to actually like be a better person. But even then, he's still a reactionary conservative piece of shit, so like, who cares? Oh, okay, sounds good, Dav. Yeah, I think that's a good way of put- I think that's a good way of putting it. It'd be different if Eminem did- did that and was like, actually like, normal now. And not the way he is. Eminem is literally doing the same kind of shit he was doing that long ago he's just doing it for different groups of people he's just he's just continuing to punch down on different groups of people God, I, I hope he gets a World Cup. New Paps talking point incoming. Sorry, I really want Spain to win, Kez. Is there ever a pap shutting up point? I think we need that. It takes a lot to shut me up, to be honest. Maybe like a kiss or something? That might shut me up. Okay, bro. He's 16. Let's relax. <laughs> You're glazing a little bit too hard. He's good. And he has a lot of pro a lot of you know. He has a future ahead of him for sure. But he is 16. Let's <laughs> let's let's relax. <laughs> the bad part when it comes to players like this is sometimes really young players will be hyped up a lot like way too much and expected to perform at a level that like is not sustainable for such a young person and they just like fizzle out i've seen it happen to so many players that were supposed to be like the next goat or whatever kind of sucks I hope he's good, and I hope he has a nice long career ahead of him, and I hope he performs well and is a great player, but, you know, it's it's just hard to really make those calls when the, the kid's, he's literally a kid, he's only 16 years old. That's so awesome. I think the world's a little bit of a better place with Aiden Ross no longer streaming, if that's the case. I still stream, yep. Haven't, uh... Haven't not streamed.
Every girl I've ever gone out with has gone les. Imagine being such a repulsive man that your ex-girlfriend goes, you know what? Yeah, maybe... Maybe I don't need men in my life. Maybe men really aren't all that. has been a while probably since i was playing six men's how have you been d-rock you still got that alpha alpha boost I mean, yeah, on a serious note, like, you don't turn lesbian. Jaden, thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. You don't turn lesbian. That's probably just some, it's something that you uh, figure out over time. Hi, Drops. How are you? This is the M&M that I remember. This is the M&M that I remember uh, listening to back in the day. Quit playing a couple games a year ago, living out live. You sold it and all your stuff. I mean, hey, W, at least you got money back on that shit. You might even got a profit. What's up, Jaden? How you doing? Dark Demise, are you serious? That's funny. Some people unfortunately get brain worms and it never heals. Always better when you're on the screen. Oh, stop it. You just are what you are. No, I know. I think he says they hurt when I pee, I think. Thinking about turning pan seems legit. Any tips? It's like, yeah, you are what you are. Just different people figure that out at different points in life. Yo, thanks for the present, Fugu. But, um, maybe I should be giving all y'all gifts. I, pr I probably have many gifts. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Dark Demise. You came to the wrong neighborhood. Oh my. Oh. We should listen to the Clear album. That's what we should do. Yes, Eminem. You're the only normal one. You're so normal.
Don't laugh at me. I thought I had way less time than I actually did. Wait, I haven't listened to the Billie Eilish album either. I should listen to that too. I saw a TikTok today where some guy stitched like a Billie Eilish interview or something and said like, does, does Billie Eilish only shop in San, San Andreas? <laughs> that, shit, that shit was crazy. What's up, Jan? It's going pretty good. I was lurking your stream earlier. The Ski Mask album? Uh, I don't think I did actually. So good, Dev. Oh, hi, Hannah. New Don Tolliver album carried this summer. So we're not even one month into summer. Also, I don't think I've heard that album either. Bro, in that time period where I didn't have YouTube music or Spotify or anything, I feel like I missed like fucking six albums. All right, let's start putting albums on so I can actually listen to them. But I think that means I'm gonna turn off song requests for now. Vec is a goat. I'm queuing with uh, him and Zelena up right now. We're doing we're doing okay mostly. I think we're on a little bit of a win streak. Oh, thank goodness, Dave. It's fine. I'm gonna turn off song request anyways because when I listen to an album, I want to like listen to it like front to back so I can like actually get the experience of it, you know, as the artist intended. My bad. I was trying to dime up Vec, but I smashed that at him. <laughs> New Tyler album would slap, to be fair. So I gotta listen to like, dude, I have like multiple albums I gotta toss on. What album should we listen to first? Claro? All y'all talking about how you think the Eminem is album is good. I'm gonna show you a real good album. I haven't even heard it and I already know Claro. I already know my queen Claro is dropping better than washed up. Marshall Mathers. Sag. We'll put Claire on first. Because I want some to it. Nice. They, them, and non hit the Pentagon yesterday. <sighs> okay, let's put it on. I'm going to turn no song requests for, for now. How many likes we get on YouTube, by the way? Six? Oh, we can do better than six. It happens, Dark Demise. Tell it break, tell it break, tell it break. And, and it's late, and it's late, and it's late. Um, but I don't. 
when you're broke, when you're broke. All right, Claro, my fucking queen, my fucking queen, bless my fucking ears right now. I will absolutely not be listening to the Eminem album on stream. I heard enough. Should you go on your alt YouTube to like it? No, you don't got to do that. You don't got to do that. I have heard enough of the Eminem album. It is so bad. I will not be subjecting my ears to any more torture. This is blessing my eardrums right now. going to a Red Sox game? I'm going to a Red Sox game with Shalee next month. I never do anything or want to do anything, so Shalee just like sets things up for us and gets us tickets and is like, we're going. And I'm like, okay. Hi, Alice. How are we? How are we? Cuz you have another uh you have another it's coming home supporter because Alice loves Jude Bellingham. Really? W. It's so funny how the Red Sox are so fucking ass now. Damn. I can I can go to a Red Sox game for less than like how much it costs me to get a fucking Chipotle burrito, I guess. It's not coming home. England will fail as they always do. And the next rising goat will take his first step to taking the throne. Remember last time y'all thought I was coming home? And then what happened? Remember that pain. Remember that suffering. I can't triple that. See, we lost in pens. Is it depressing? Oh, trust me, I was watching. That is so fucking toxic. You just did that to me. I set that up pretty good. Hmm. 
How many time of training? I have like 10 bajillion hours in this game. However many hours you think I have, I probably have more. That's how I got good at air dribbling. Grueling, grueling training. That's all Rocket League is. A test of how much you want to grind, really. Damn. I didn't even get a flip on that. Who are the front runners for Ballon d'Or? It'd be funny if Messi like has a crazy Copa America final and then he wins it again. That'd be pretty funny in my opinion. I need Messi to have like an, I need, I need Messi to bring back like 25 year old Messi have a crazy Copa America final and then he wins the Ballon d'Or. You had Aqua on your team? Wait, really? How? Who do I support? You're asking me, guys? Vinny right now by far. I almost died twice at work since you skipped my favorite song, but honestly, it's Instant Karma since I trolled Eminem. Wait, I skipped your favorite song? Wait, what do you mean? Why is it crazy Jude had an amazing season? I didn't say it's... Oh, it's wrong to chat. Fake Aqua? Uh, I thought you actually had Aqua like on your team in Rocket League. Yeah, I feel like sometime when you take a break, Fugu, your mechs kind of like settle into your brain. If that makes sense. Is it still Portugal? Yeah, of course. I'm Portuguese. I'd be rocking with Portugal. Unfortunately, they did not win. So Zen is like one of the best pros in Rocket League and also like almost Radiant. Messi on some anti-aging roids. Messi, please, my goat. Argentina needs you. The countries I support, Argentina, Portugal, USA. How do they have time to play that much Rocket League and play enough Valorant slash Counter-Strike to be that good? I don't think your chat answers my question. No, they don't. That's a delusional thing to say. You think they have like a hundred hours of scrims every week, every couple weeks? Okay. I mean, <laughs> playing the game for six to eight hours is a lot of time. <laughs> They're still putting in like a hundred hours past two. How does that mean Rocket League is dead?
Yeah, I think after six hours of scrims, it maybe gets a little uh, tiring. Dude, there's no way that motherfucker got me with the bump. I mean, whatever. Vekic still scored, but I wanted to double that. He fucked me up just enough. What is happening? Good night, Em. I appreciate you hanging out. Yeah, why are we playing people so much lower ranked? Ronaldo hasn't been the best player in the world for like almost 10 years probably. Well, to be fair, never, but when when did Ronaldo win his last Ballon d'Or? There you go bringing up Ronaldo again. Shut the fuck up. Oh, Ronaldo won a Ballon d'Or <laughs> yesterday. That's impressive. He wins Ballon d'Ors even when they're not giving out Ballon d'Ors. I don't even think Ronaldo is the best European player. I'm not starting Ronaldo debate again. I can't. It's happened like too many times the past couple of weeks. Alice, you might actually be the only person in the world that has ever typed that sentence. Alice is out here typing sentences and typing chats that have literally only ever been said by her. That's crazy. What a save from Vec G. Oh. I used to watch you in your champ or something. Now you're still still streaming. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that, little panda. That's very nice of you. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. What's up, Irv Nation TV? How are we? Messi has better stats and is more accomplished than both Maradona and Di Stefano. Like, I'm not joking. You're, you might be one of the only people I've ever seen say Messi isn't even the best Argent. Like, you are the only person in the world that I've ever seen say. Alice said that Messi's not even the third, or isn't even the second best Argentinian of all time. 
Messi is like the greatest player in the world, our greatest player of all time, <laughs> to so many analysts and so many people. But to Alice, he's not even the second best Argentinian. <laughs> That's so awesome. Excuse me, holy shit. Do I think it's valid for someone to say Messi's not the best player of all time? I don't agree with that. But I think you can argue, you can make some cases and you can argue. <laughs> but saying he's not even the best Argentinian, not even the second best Argentinian. Now that, that is truly outrageous. I still have not tried Chain together, but I will be playing it with Shalia at some point. Coming soon. Hi, Smacked. I'm not disrespecting Maradona. Maradona was a great, great player. But wasn't his, like... Wasn't his career too short? And, like... His legacy was Coke. Um, Maradona career. Accomplishments. Four times footballer of the year, five times top goal scorer, professional football league. What's that? Is that like the Argentinian league? Okay, yeah, so it doesn't really count. Top scorer for Serie A one time is a World Cup winner. Won the Italian league with Napoli a couple times. I mean, yeah, his he's just not even close to being as decorated as Messi. Like, I don't think it's even close. <laughs> Dude, looking at these accomplishments compared to Maradona is crazy. <laughs> okay, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Look at Maradona's accomplishments. You know, pretty decorated. And then let's let's look at Messi's. <laughs> They're not even close. Twenty three times top goal scorer. Maradona was five times top goal scorer. The best FIFA men's player, eight times Ballon d'Or. Like it's not even close. Three times UEFA best player in Europe. Ten times player of the year. Maradona was player of the year four times. It's just, yeah, it's just not even close. I'm sorry.
Like, I feel like it's just, it's so undeniable that Messi is the best Argent. Like, uh, okay. If, if you're not going to, if, if titles and stats and accomplishments and all of those things like don't matter or don't, don't convince you, like what, what, um, what does? Wait, so Maradon never even won a Ballon d'Or? At least this guy, Di Stefano, won Ballon d'Or twice. So not as many Ballon d'Ors as Messi. Not as many top goal scorers as Messi. Oh, that's why you think... That's why you think Di Stefano is better than Messi. I'm starting to see why you think Di Stefano is better than Messi. Could it be perhaps that he was a Real Madrid player? Bro, he was... And also, keep in mind, this motherfucker was playing in the 50s. Dude, this motherfucker was playing in the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. Bro, I don't think people could even dribble without looking at their feet back then. Hi, Crow. Hi, Barnyard Cannibal. The matches are going pretty good. I just realized I've been making them wait for like uh, too long. It doesn't even matter. I feel like when we're talking about players that long ago, I don't even think, I don't even know. It's like saying NBA players in like the 60s or 70s. It's like the game has changed so much. Like the skill, the skill ceiling has continued to climb and climb and climb. And footballers nowadays are so much better than footballers in the 50s and 60s. So I don't even think like him getting Ballon doors in like 1958 really matters too much. And even then, Messi, every single accomplishment that Di Stefano has, Messi has more. Yeah, Di Stefano got the super Ballon d'Or before sliced bread was invented. <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> I think I think Di Stefano won the super Ballon d'Or when the fucking Earl of Sandwich made the first sandwich. Fuck. I just don't really, I don't really like, I don't really take stats and performances that were done literally nearing a hundred years ago, you know, 80 years ago. I just don't really take it like, you know, it's like with a grain of salt. Yeah, I understand. You think Di Stefano is the GOAT because you're a Real Madrid fan. Kill. I understand. Or the best Argentinian. What does that do? Now you know. But like, what, what I'm saying, Alice, is like, statistically, accomplishment-wise, Messi has literally outperformed Maradona and Di Stefano by like a lot. Like it's kind of not even close. 
Doesn't... Does Messi have eight Ballon d'Ors or am I... Is that too many? Messi didn't just play for Prime Barca. Messi is part of the reason why Prime Barca existed. Also, I don't think like why did why would that even be relevant? Damn. Why would that even be relevant? Like Maradona played for a worse team. God damn it. My hockey goat is, um, um, David Krejci. That's my goat. Actually, no, my, my goat is Zidane Ochara. I don't think Tati's the best Italian player of all time. He's good, and I love him, but he's definitely not Italian goat. You think Francesco Tati is the best Italian player of all time? Really? Wow, you you are you definitely have some hot takes, huh? I've never heard anyone ever say that before too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no way. Bro, Ital dude, Italy has so many like greats. Italy has, like, some of the best, like, defenders of all time. Italy has so many legends. I've never heard anyone say Francesco Totti is the best Italian player of all time. Is he, is he like, one of the best Italian players of all time? Yeah, I, I agree. He did have a good career for Roma. And did his part. Is a great player. Had a nice long career. But best Italian of all time. I don't know about that one. Name one player better than Tati. I'll look at a list of Italian legends after this just so we can be thorough. Mario Balotelli. That's my Italian goat. Oh, true. Yeah. Maldini. Baggio. I kind of forgot about Berezzi. Where's Cannavaro on that list? Oh, yeah. True. Pirlo. Yeah, what the hell? Do you have any? T do you have a time goal? I have no time goal. I just want to beat it. And considering I'm playing with Schlee, that's probably going to be tough. Just being honest. Twenty greatest Italian players of all time. Oh, Buffon too. Yeah, how are we going to forget Buffon? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Cannavaro, Baggio. Del, 
Oh, true. Del Piero. How could we forget about Del Piero? Maldini, Pirlo, Berezzi. This list has Totti at number 15. Maldini and Berezzi what if, what, went a season where they only let in three goals or something. Hi, Gendry. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Dave, you're going to find out when you watch me and Shalee play on stream, you're going to find out. <laughs> that list isn't numbered. This list has Tati at number nine, so that's pretty good. Pirlo over him, Barezzi over him, Buffon over him, Maldini over him, Baggio over him. Um, this one has Tati at six. This one has Tati at seven. Like I said, he's a great Italian player, but like, I don't think anyone is putting Tati at number one for Italy. Oh, that's a really normal first chat, Mel's RL. Welcome to the stream. Hello, how are you? Hope you have a good night. We've been having a lot of football discussions recently because I've gotten more back into football. Who the fuck is Mick David? That literally sounds like a made up name. Mick David. <laughs> Mick David. That's such a fucking funny name. Holy shit. It sounds made up. <laughs> you high ass? The fuck you mean? I'm not high. Not my government name getting roasted right now. No, I'm not roasting David, just like Mick David is so funny. <laughs> Seems to be a bias there, Callus. Yeah, dude, Simone, Simone Biles is like insane. The way she twists and turns her body doing some of those flips and shit. I don't know how the fuck it's possible for a human to do that shit. What about that, um... What about that Brazilian football that was really good? What was his name? Wasn't he on, like, Chelsea? He was on, like, Chelsea and Atletico Madrid. Wasn't wasn't his name Dave Costa? Or am I messing... Am I, am I tripping? What the hell was his name? He was a, he was on Atletico Madrid. He was on Chelsea. He like switched to Spain. Diego Costa, that's what it was. Well, isn't he Spanish and Brazilian, but he chose Spain? Diego Costa, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Mick David is like McDonald. I don't know why, it just sounds funny to me. Yo, that's what I'm- Dude, that's what I'm saying, Z-Lane up. Z-Lane up? Xylo. Yes, Diego Costa, my bad. Diego Costa. Dio Diego Costa, my bad. What's up, Junior? How are you doing? He's Brazilian and he chose Spain. They gave Callus a McDonald. They gave Callus a McDonald's burger. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I get a McDavid, please? 
What, Callus, what would your McDonald's meal be? Wait, really? Wait, is this McDavid person, like, a way bigger athlete? Like, I've never heard of this person before. Who, who is that? What sport do they play? Hockey? That makes sense. I do not pay attention to hockey, like, at all. To be fair, the only sport I'd really be paying attention to mainly is football. Am I SSL already? No, nah, right now I'm 1700. I'm like one game off GC3. Why would he choose Spain over Brazil? Like, I feel like two really good teams. What team, what team does fucking Mick David play for? Shut the fuck up, Gim. Oilers? Isn't the Houston Oilers a team? Am I making that up too? Was that like an NFL team like 50 years ago? Let's go. Callus, tell me what your McDonald's combo would be if you had one. Think about Patrick Brown's, because Spain was winning more of the time. I guess that makes sense. I can't, I can't wait to see Dave. I truly can't wait to see. What would your McDonald's combo be if you had one? You know how they like, like the ice spice combo and shit? What would yours be? No sleep for you? Why? Big Mac and chicken nugget? Okay, could you be more of a basic bitch? Oh, by the way, Existus, I'm on episode, uh, I'm on episode f six of Freerun. Any suggestion to get better in rest of the ranks? How much time a day or how much time are you playing free play? Back in my day, the New York metro Metropolitans were on top of the world. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Plain burger and a cup of water. <laughs> yeah, a burger, two buns, and a burger patty. No ketchup, no mustard, no cheese, pickles, onions. Just plain ass burger. And not even water. Like, make it even grosser. Plain, a plain cup of, like, fucking black coffee. Not even water, just coffee, no cream, no sugar, just plain, <laughs> plain burger and a cup of black coffee. <laughs> Welcome back, Raw. How are you doing? All right. Thank you for the follow, Tony Longoria Pro. Tati has 50 more serial goals playing for Rayworth's teams, but stats only matter when we're glazing Messi. What if we're talking about Italian footballers? Why the fuck you bringing up only Serie A? And goals are not the only thing that matters. I wasn't like, since when did I even talk about goals? If I talked about goals, that would be even better. Because Messi statistically has the most goals on average, assists, and everything. I was talking more about like, you know, actual like accomplishments, like World Cups, top scorer for the league, Ballon d'Ors, all that stuff. I was I was putting all of that together. Clearly, goals are not the only thing that matters. It's just one piece of the pie. You gave Freerun an 8.3. I could see Freerun being an 
What is cow? I'm enjoying Freerun. Like, I've only watched five episodes, so it's like hard. I'm not going to give it a rating yet. But I really. The animation is nice. The voice acting is nice. The story seems pretty cool, and I'm like invested right now. Muddled coffee beans? Muddled. What the fuck is a muddled coffee bean? You probably play more. You probably have more plays. Changing. I would say, dude. I promise you, if you double your free play time more than what you're doing now, just simply double what you're doing. You will like farm. Here, like do it for like a week or two. Go back to ranked, and you'll be you'll be you'll be gaming. Free play is so underutilized. I promise you, like. Do like 30 minutes of free play every day for like two weeks straight. You, you're going to be gaming. That's awesome, Cal. Pro soccer players are basically SSL IRL. True. Sorry, Dave. No smoking for me for a while. Say less. Dude, I promise you. Okay. Just make it an experiment and stick to it, okay? For... For two weeks straight, just try to double your free play time. And, like, really, you know, take... Make sure you're tracking it well. Make sure you're tracking it well and, like, make sure you're actually doing it. Because I promise you, it's going to be a very worthwhile thing. Uh-oh. Dab's weeb side is coming out. <laughs> chuckle fuck. I don't know why y'all like chuckle fuck so much. The album is over. Put request back on. No. Billy Eilish album now. Okay. Billy Eilish time. Ooh. Yo, drops with the ooh. -oo. <laughs> I don't even know why I said chuckle fuck. Just sometimes words pop into my head and I gotta say them. Is that a real picture of Spuda? New Eminem lyrics and Jen. Oh, can't wait. Billy is such a vibe. I just, I just watched, or I just listened to the Claro album. I mean, it's Claro. It's always good. Now we're listening to Billy. Cause I haven't heard this album yet either. What the fucking nuts? Imagine I got dreads. Yeah, it would be pretty racist to me. Subway surfer ah uh, generation. What do you mean? If, uh, if we win this game, I'm in the GC3, which is nice. Hey, no worries. Good luck on your rank up grind. And make sure you make sure you get those free play hours up. Like, anytime I'm talking to someone who's, like, hard stuck or talking about needing, like, more tips or whatever, almost always it's they just lack training. They lack training, don't spend enough time in free play, all those things. Oh, 
Um, no. We're beating Spooda Gaming right here. Sorry. Just keeping it real. Yeah. Spooda just shaved his head. That's crazy. The denial phase of, like, watching... Am I heavy? Be honest. <laughs> I just realized Z lineup has like 20 points. <laughs> Yo, no problem. Have a good night. Get some good sleep, Tra. Appreciate you. Oh, Callus, you mean the phone number scam artist? That that was the price. I don't think there will ever be a point in my life where I choose to watch a subbed anime over a dubbed anime unless they're like just literally isn't a dub or something that's the only time the only time I ever watch sub is just when the dub's not available <laughs> sounds about right for someone like Callus. just being honest The free run dub is really good. A lot of really good voice actors. If it has Beerus's voice actor, you know it's gonna be good. Cope, you're a weeb. I am not a weeb. I, d I don't think... Sub is not better translated. If anything, dub is better translated because the sub sometimes doesn't translate what is trying to be... the emotions trying to be conveyed with, the, with like, wrong words. Like, I literally... I was... I was watching Vinland Saga dub with the subtitles on the screen for the majority of watching. And so many of the subbed words were different than the actual lines and they did not convey or get the point across better than what the dub was actually saying. <laughs> Dub does like dub does a good job of like using words that using words in English that convey what was actually trying to be said better than reading it. What the hell? That wasn't the deal. My septum ball just came out. I'm a dub deletist? Bro, no, I, no I'm not. That's so crazy. It doesn't make any sense. I didn't say anything about the sub. I literally said nothing. You motherfuckers are the one that brought it up. I'm going to put my septum ball back in.
Okay. Yes, I have seen Jujutsu Kaisen. It's literally on my list and rated. I haven't seen season two, though. <sighs> You're like those people that go to a different country and purposely act extra American. How? Dude, oh my god. I don't understand, like, I don't understand what is so hard to comprehend. I have watched animes in subbed. I have watched animes in dubbed. I literally watched the first three episodes of Vinland Saga subbed, switched to dubbed, and never went back. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I enjoy dubbed more. There is not going to be any comparison. There's not going to be any shit that you can tell me where I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? You're right. Subs better. I enjoy subbed more, or I enjoy dubbed more than subbed. Period. Yes, I watched this already and um Okay. Is football coming home? No, probably not. Probably not, probably not. The sub was a hundred times better. No. <laughs> He's literally saying the same exact things in English compared to Japanese. And for some reason, that's just cornier. We're coping. Yes, I'm too far gone. Bro, I'm not a fucking weeb ass like y'all. I don't know what else to tell you. Bro, I'm literally going to fucking shoot myself in the head with a fucking gun in game. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I have watched One Punch Man subbed. I have watched Attack on Titan subbed. I've watched part of Vinland Saga subbed. I've watched part of Solo Leveling subbed. I have I've watched part of Dragon Ball Z subbed. I've watched part I have literally watched multiple anime subbed and guess what? I still watch dubbed. I don't know what to fucking tell you. It's okay to be a weeb. No, it's fucking not. It's gross. Being a weeb is not liking anime. Being a weeb is more than liking anime. Being a weeb is like watching anime and being like, Oh, I want to go to Japan so bad. Did I watch Demon Slayer? I should be fine.
<laughs> I watch Demon Slayer. I'll, I'll be fine navigating Tokyo. Wow, this is so segoy. Fuck. Hell yeah, J Dog. You can like subbed anime and not be a weeb. Yeah, I 100% agree. You become a weeb when you start talking about how, oh, the sub is objectively better and, and it's just, um, you're not getting the full experience and blah, blah, blah. Then you're a fucking weeb. It's like, okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Callus. How is that twisting what you said? That's li I'm I was literally saying exactly what y'all were saying. Sub is objectively better. And then all you literally said that. And then Dav also said. <clears throat> Dav also said. Oh, I f I forget that you watch dub, so your enjoyment is minus two points. Because it is. Ugh, I just me when I me when I say art ha is objectively better. I think it's better, so it is. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I have not seen Neo Yokio. No, what's that, bro? I'm not coping. I'm not anything. I have literally always said that I enjoy subbed and I enjoy dubbed more. Every time, every time this conversation happens, every single time, I'm not a sub hater. I'm not a whatever. I still think subbed has good parts and I enjoy it too. When I have to watch sub, I don't hate it. I prefer dubbed. counter argument there has literally not been a single anime that i've watched that has not had a good dubbed voice cast literally not a one <laughs> you start cackling every time i use that voice it's so fucking funny wait which one gajin smash what the fuck is that when every when literally every single person agrees is not subjective no the only fucking people that agree are anime fucking weebs that's literally the only people and also, it's not even full agreement. Have you actually the geek nerd voice? Sorry, bud. <laughs> not even like I told you. I don't even know where I invented that voice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oi, 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 Paps! You're being quite the baka, aren't you? <laughs> you watch your anime dubbed, huh? <laughs> Pulls up the glasses. Makes sense. Not Sugoi. <laughs> Holy shit. Hi, Kaza. I thought the blue lock dub was fun. I have it, bro. I have it at a 7 point fucking 5. Holy fucking shit. Dubbed is not very superashi. What does that even mean? I know Segoi means like good or whatever, right? I don't really know many Japanese words. 7.5 equal <laughs> equals 1. Okay. <laughs> Let's start up that argument again, please. <laughs> Splendid or magnificent?
Hi, Fallen. Close one. I get close one. Haha, <laughs> Pap's back. I'm. We're not weebs. Anytime I mention anime, I'm not even talking about dubbed or subbed. Baka! You're watching the dubbed. You can't get sleep. Hating on a whole language. Yes, of course. That is what I'm doing. Of course, of course. I I, I <laughs> huh? Oh, my controller just disconnected and reconnected. That's not a good sign. I hope that doesn't start happening. Oh, it's happening more. Oh, that's not good. I'll be watching One Piece, and I'll be watching it dubbed. Cry. Why even watch One Piece? So I don't have to fucking sit through a thousand episodes of poorly paced garbage. I guess, or I can wait for the remastered version to come out. No, nah, no, nah, I'm chilling. It's just, I don't, I've had this wire and I've had this controller for years now, Fallen. If the remastered version is going to be better, I'll probably just wait for that. I mean, trust me, I have I have plenty of anime to watch in the meantime. I have like I'm watching I'm watching Freerian right now and I watched episode 4 and episode 5 earlier. I was doing the exercise bike just watching an anime episode. Um so I don't know exactly how long it's going to take me to finish Freerin, but like, I feel like it'll probably be, that's so stupid. That's so fucking stupid. Hello, GC. How are we? Hello, robot. How are we? I got blumped. What was I saying? Um, what the fuck? We're chilling. We got this. Easy peasy. Nice. Let's go, robot. I'm okay. Just up to nothing. Up to nothing for real. Every time. <laughs> the weebs in my chat are having another dub versus subbed argument. Welcome back. Dab, you realize that just as easily as you're picking apart pieces of, of like random dubs or whatever and saying that you think the sub is better on this point, 
You realize that you could easily do just the same and look up parts where, like, the dub is better, right? You couldn't? Oh, okay. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. It actually is a really good sesh. Jordan, I think you are. Dude, we're nine and three right now. We're cooking. Like actually, we're plus fifty two right now. I'm up to seventeen ten. Okay, sounds good. Dude, that's not okay. One Dude, you can literally go to my anime list, which I update regularly, and you can see exactly how many hours I have. I don't I do not watch as much anime as I would like to. I wish I watched more anime, but I tend to get into like I've told y'all before, sometimes sometimes when I finish an anime or like even when I'm in the middle of, of one, sometimes I just have like this really bad habit of just even if I'm enjoying it or like I want to watch more, I just like don't. I don't know. I just get like in a habit of like watching a bunch of YouTube or something. Semicolons over text. Yeah, you're rooming with a fucking nerd, but aren't you also a nerd? <laughs> Bro, we're nine and three. I don't know if we could have been doing much better. Redemption. Sorry. That's not even true. I finished Finland Saga season one and two in like a month. <coughs> Need some shit to make you tear up? Watch Steins Gate. That made me cry a couple times. Fallen spitting. I have hatred in the heart for you. Pitch, they asked, they like asked me to play and we scheduled this before you asked. That's literally all that happened. We set up a play date. Didn't we go down immediately to oh, that last game too? What's happening? Yeah, I cry when I watch high school DXD, but for a different reason. Why are we starting off these last two games so badly? I, I really love how in so many animes, there's always like that one random girl character that's like really obsessed with like the guy protagonist. A really, really real and accurate. What is, why did my controller randomly start doing this? I think I unplugged it one too many times. Yeah, dude, my shit is cooked, bro. I, my shit keeps disconnecting and lagging.
I gotta watch Neon Genesis. That's another one of those, like... That's another one of those, like, really popular animes I gotta, like, watch to, like, understand. Understand more anime pop culture shit. Yeah, like... I'm trying to watch all the animes like that. Crying's for pussies. Is mid? Oh, Alice, you're gonna be, you're gonna start riots in my chat with some of the shit you say. Oh, true, I gotta, yeah, is Spy X Family good? I remember that was popping up not too long ago, right? Watch Steins Gate, GC. It's good. Brotherhood next. I'm down. I wa I chose I chose Freerun specifically because it seemed like it wasn't like a fighting anime or whatever. And so far it's not. It's more like relationship and like drama focus. It's not really like about fighting. Plus, Freerin is literally so me with her sleep schedule. I'm Freerin. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm able to enjoy animes that aren't really like focused on action or whatever. I'm enjoying it so far. But, like, I'm going to be watching, I want to watch Neon, but, like, that's why, like, you know, I watched Naruto, I watched Bleach, I mean, Dragon Ball I've always watched, um, that's why I want to watch One Piece, too. Like, I, I really, like, I want to not only watch, like, new popular animes that are coming out, I also want to, like, enrich myself with animes of old and, like, you know, the more classic stuff that, like, kind of made anime what it is today. I really like that. Which is why I want to watch Neon, uh, Neon Genesis. Your dad got into AOT, apparently. The only, the only Elder Scrolls I've ever played is, uh, Oblivion. I remember enjoying that. Did I say an X? I don't say Hunter X Hunter. Wait, you don't use a directional air roll Z lane up? Really? I don't say Hunter X Hunter. I've always said like Hunter Hunter. Did I like say X something? Fifty one enjoying anime. I tried to get Gen Z gonna hate this one. Fuck. Oh, you're right. You're right. True. I did say Spy X Family. I didn't even think of that. I don't know. For some reason, the X felt like part of the title. But, like, you're not wrong. It's, like, exactly like Hunter Hunter. What is the point of the X, then? Damn. I thought backwards are going backboard. Nah, Hunter Hunter is actually good. Don't let don't let the Killua PFPs like take away. Hunter Hunter is like genuinely a really good anime. Definitely one of my fave ones. The point of X was to destroy Twitter. True. It's a style thing. It makes sense. Hi, Bri- or Brich, blue face. Brich, blue face, same person. K 
Killa was a pretty cool character too, yeah. <clears throat> right now I'm watching Freerin. Freerin Beyond Journeys End or something. Yeah, maybe I'll watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood next. That might be a nice little little switch up. That's a more action action focused anime, right? OG Full Metal of a Brotherhood. Is that an Alice hot take? I don't know. Why is the bot broken? Wait, what bot is broken? What bot is broken? Can someone go to my YouTube chat? real quick and do a chat. Just say anything. Alice is rage baiting right now. You chatted? Did you actually? Alice is taking the what a save Dave role for real. You're taking Dave's job. I streamed for the first time, I think, in 2017. It's been a while. That one episode of Adventure Time with the deer still gives me nightmares. How about that? Oh, by the way, Jordan, I saw you talk about Eminem. I was already roasting the fuck out of Eminem earlier, trust me. And we were talking about how dog shit he is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I've been I've been streaming for like seven years. Trigun, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I've been enjoying this. Billy Eilish knows what the fuck she's doing. I don't know, Alice. If it's anything like your other anime takes. 
Maybe Trigon isn't so great. Wait, so we listened to Clearo, we listened to Billie Eilish. Okay, Ski Mask. Slump God is next. Anyone else listen to Ski Mask and can give any uh Jaws interlude? Cringe. Monster? I've never seen Monster. All your takes are W's. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I've never seen Monster. I'll have to put that on the list. I have to put Neon Genesis on the list too. I don't think I have it there. The best villain of all time is... Uh, what was that guy from OG Dragon Ball that turned people into carrots? What's his name? Master Carrot? That guy was awesome. Q from Star Trek. I don't know if there's any portrayal of Batman that's good. Isn't every portrayal of Batman just a billionaire that does vigilante justice? I'm saying it. Batman sucks. The, the cop loving billionaire that does vigilante justice. For democracy and freedom. Wait, are there some portrayals of Batman where he's a trillionaire, really? Oh, I guess Iron Man is similar, right? Iron Man is like what the average person thinks a billionaire is like super smart. Or does memeing? Oh. Um. I feel like empath if you become a billionaire, you don't have empathy. I feel like that's just not possible. Honestly, Dave, there might be. Elon Musk is real life Iron Man, except Elon Musk is a fucking idiot. Doesn't have any superpowers, any cool tech. Horrible bigot. In what way do you think Elon Musk is like Iron Man? Isn't that part of Iron Man's thing? Is he's like a fucking super genius? Is not like a part of his character. Or am I just making that up?
No, it's not. The playlist command is, is recent. Hello? I just updated that. Oh, let's go. My queen is on. My favorite superhero is the new um, Israeli superhero. That's my new favorite superhero. Oh, I got to see mask. GG's, GG's. That was a nice little good little sesh. Let's see if Ski Mask is cooking or not. Oh, man. I need to get a new controller or a different wire. That fucking sucks. No, no. The playlist is brand new. That's why it hasn't had many songs. I don't think Elon Musk has a savior complex. I think e Elon Musk is a hateful piece of garbage. I think all Elon Musk cares about is being liked by weirdos and being a billionaire. Elon Musk is a, is a savior or has a savior complex unless you are trans or gay or an immigrant or black or any person of color, really. Hey, and get some sleep, Zelan up. I appreciate you. Thanks for playing. Good little sash. Yeah, fuck Elon Musk. Wait, how did he get... How did he get exposed for liking racist tweets? After. Wait, how? That's awesome. But unsurprising. I mean, dude, he was liking... <clears throat> Elon, Elon Musk was liking and signal boosting racist stuff before likes were deleted. So it's like... Obviously, he's still doing it. VKG Lowell just raided with 16 viewers. Oh my god, is that my goat VekG Lowell? That is my goat VekG Lowell. Thank you for the raid, Vecky. W Sesh, we cooked. I don't know how positive we went exactly, but I think we went I think we went like plus 50 or something. We cooked. I don't know what to say. I'm not saying no problem because it is a problem. Okay, I'll say no problem. Bye, GC. Get some sleep. Nah, bro. We went up a lot. Did you not check your rank? Look at your rank right now. See how much you went up. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Nice shots. I was like sixteen fifty five or something. 
and I'm 1705 now. The Portugal decal is fine. I like it. I'm biased though. I like the Portugal colors. Like Aaron Jaeger. Oh my goodness. Attack on Titan reference. Megan the Stallion does anime references better. L. Otashi wa stop. 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 Kida. Kida. Goes so hard. Whoa, where the fuck is my roster going? Good heavens. Wait, Dab, you had a face reveal TikTok that did numbers? I, rem I remember your little Timmy TikToks. Water. Good heavens. This is the most erratic 2v2 player I've ever played with. What happened to your TikTok again, Dev? Did it get taken down or you stopped posting? Okay. Oh, that hurts. Okay, we're good. We're not good. Stop posting. That was before your politics account, right? Whoa. Bro. <laughs> okay. I've been watching a little bit of Copa America, but not enough to have like an actual opinion. Wouldn't be fair for me to say if Colombia is good or not. I just need my teammate to like relax and we'll win this. should make leftist content on uh on twitter now i think it'll go really good there's a good audience for it Yeah, I mean, 
the right corner you're gonna say twitter leftists twitter leftists are normal conservatives no No, I think it's just shitting on... Well, shitting on liberals is easy too, obviously. Yeah, beefing with the Nazi is so fun if you want to have your brain disintegrate. MAGA communist is like not a real thing. And also those people weren't actual lefties. MAGA communist is like <clears throat> some incredibly stupid thing someone invented and like thought made sense in their head, but it just it doesn't make sense or work at all. MAGA communist? I don't think those two things could ever coincide together. MAGA is a fascist, conservative, reactionary movement. And communism is all about, like, workers' rights. Stateless, classless, moneyless society. Labor being more important than capital, all that stuff. It's just like, they're diametrically opposed. Yeah, Jackson Hinkle is literally a psycho conservative who's also like a Nazi and does Nazi talking points. If that's Trump, Trump is a conservative reactionary through and through yeah I mean someone claiming to be a lefty and actually holding leftist values are different what's up Dylan how you doing I see you on YouTube what's up is area I mean, the word is also tainted by any Western education system. The word communism is literally like equated to evil. I mean, there was a whole saga in this country where people who were communist or socialists were just like literally getting thrown in jail or killed. I don't think I get to saw any educational ones. What rank am I? Uh, I'm trying to get like, I'm gold, th or sorry, not gold three. I'm plat three right now. I'm trying to get diamond rewards. So I'm close. You guys are going pretty good. Cause of the cold war, oh great. Because of the Cold War, the propaganda that I got actually was right and good. I'll answer your question with another question. 
when has capitalism worked exactly? Great. On oh God, Dave dies of cringe. That's your response. Okay. America is number economics. It's working right now. Who exactly is capitalism working for? Is it working for like the 8 million people that die in poverty of lack of food every year in capitalist systems? Is it working for the people that die in poverty that can't afford health care? Is it working for the people that are put in prison? and forced to continue and to contribute to the modern day slavery that is the prison industrial complex who exactly is capitalism working for just wondering Obamacare? Bro, what? Is it is it 2008 again? What just happened? How is that a rebuttal for anything I just said? You realize America has some of the worst social safety nets in the world compared to like other industrialized nations? That happened to Zara, you're chilling. You're arguing with Twitch chat? What? I'm arguing or t talking, I guess, with you. How's that? I feel like your responses like aren't actually like responding to what I'm saying. Capit you know capitalism works for it works for it works for the people at the top it works for the people that are constantly taking and taking and taking paying a less percentage in taxes hoarding their wealth 57 percent of americans something around there live paycheck to paycheck that's yeah, working real good Mr. Waffles Tuturu, thanks for the prime sub. Hi. Yo, thanks for the primey waffles. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Capitalism is whack for real. I just don't see how like any person could sit here and defend capitalism and think that we don't need a change. Like... Does that change need to be communism? I don't fucking know. It just needs to be something other than capitalism. Like we need to get to a system where the average person isn't suffering while the people at the top fucking sip their margaritas on their yachts, contributing absolutely fucking nothing to society. No, I know. Dude, the thing is, a lot of Americans, a lot of Americans refuse to accept that they themselves are also working class or in poverty or getting fucked by the system. They like to think of themselves as temporarily embarrassed millionaires. Like, oh no, one day that's going to be me. Millionaires are actually good. That's what I want to be. So rather, rather than thinking themselves as another person getting fucked by the system and how it's unfair, they would much rather try to reinforce the system and back it up because, oh, surely no. I, you know, it's only, I'm only where I'm at because I'm failing. I'm only where I'm at because of this or because of that. 
it's definitely not that the system is inherently flawed and the majority of people are living paycheck to paycheck or in poverty or can't afford basic needs and most it couldn't be the fact that most people are are one fucking health disaster away from living in poverty and having no money in their bank account no 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 it's not the system it's uh it's it's me i'm just not working hard enough so stupid What about in no way I had no cleaning top percent I'm gonna do the cash flow. Let's go combat. How would you fix everything? Oh, that's it. Yeah, first step. First step. Billionaires don't exist. Dude, I'm sad that's an account does benefit the rich and pirate. Uh no. Capitalism does not breed innovation, it does the opposite. That's why there's so many monopolies. So true, Blueface. Like, if you actually look up, does capitalism, capitalism breed innovation? You're going to get hit with a lot of facts that are probably going to be slapping you in your, in your ball sack. ACT, nice. I remember taking the ACT like 10 years ago. Shit was crazy. Money moves money. Are the top 1% supposed to give you money? Bro, you literally have... You realize that you literally have peasant brain, right? Oh, me. Oh, just because me lord has a lot of money. Does that mean that I should be getting any? No, me lord earned it. Me lord gives me a nice percentage. Oh, me lord. Oh, they shouldn't give us much. I have enough. I have enough, I think. Me lord deserves more. You literally have fucking... You actually have peasant brain. It's crazy. He's finna go to college? Hell yeah. Hopefully he does good in his ACTs. Tell your brother random person online says good luck on the ACT. What are you? No, that's a timeout. That's a timeout. We switched it when people say stuff like that. Time them out. So they can at least maybe hear what I have to say. Most of the time, they either don't chat again, or they continue to be weird, but whatever. That's a weird first thing to ask. Don't do it again. If they're wondering your nationality. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, Ty, it never ends up being that. Damn. Yeah, college, college is a big life change. College is a big life change for sure, Zeria. I mean, I don't, th I feel like you're not trolling. I feel like you're saying what you mean. But then when I'm actually giving you like something you can't really respond to, then you're saying you're baiting me. That's just how I feel though. Look at me, using my feelings. I think you did, Alice. Or honestly, knowing you is probably something about fucking Real Madrid. It happened. Hey, people People make long drives in the morning all the time, Azaria. It's a pretty normal thing. You didn't know the footy? 
Then when I told you my mom was a Real Madrid fan and my brother, you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> like, I feel like, I feel like I can tell people like Baxi or however the fuck you say your name. I will tell people like this person, I will say, hey, you deserve to work less, get paid more and live a more dignified, stress-free life when it comes to things like shelter, healthcare, education, food. Like, you deserve that. And then that motherfucker will look at me and go, yeah, no, what are we gonna do, tax billionaires more? They need it. They need it, why? I can't, I don't deserve that. No, please, I don't want a dignified life. I just realized I'm yelling when I have someone in my room sleeping and I'm going to punch myself in the fucking face. <sighs> my bad. I got too fucking caught up in the conversation. I'm an idiot. That actually pissed me off that I realized that. All right. ASMR vibes for the rest of the stream. I'm going to be quiet. I don't think there really is one, Burke. We literally have all the facilities and money and everything to make everything I just said a reality, but we don't. Do you really think billionaires pay the most in taxes? Dude, Jeff Bezos literally paid like less than 1%. You're trolling, right? That's just straight up a lie. Billionaires are always trying to avoid taxes and do tax fraud. Yeah. That's also what some people think communism is. Communism is when everyone is absolutely equal and nobody has anything and everyone lives in fucking straw huts. That's what communism is, apparently. Um, you say you like communism, but you live in a capitalist society? Curious. happens brisky i'd prefer that at this point probably less stresses that's for sure i don't really feel like talking about capitalism very much anymore but the to cap it off capitalism is only good for the top one percent of people or top ten percent of people whatever They are the reason that the 90%, 95%, whatever, has to live worse so that they can live in lavish and live in luxury and contribute next to nothing to society and just make their investments and sit back and then they have trust fund babies that are also born into riches and then you have people that are born into poverty and fucking die in poverty because of how the system is set up. I just want someone to tell me why that's fair. Please go outside. Oh my god. Um. Um, I see that you've provided me with a lot of points. Um, have you tried, um, going outside? I don't really have anything real to say. Anything of substance. I'm just trolling. Do I have a Portugal decal? No. It's always the same. Go outside in the real world. Bro, you... 
you best fucking believe that that person, that that brainwashed troglodyte, is probably also someone that's suffering under capitalism and has the felt the weight of capitalism crushing them. Yet, look at them sitting in my chat, actually fucking bouncing on that capitalist dick as hard as they can. Like literally Mach 10 fucking supersonic speeds. So stupid. I am using the Portugal decal. Kane, by saves them millions or billions or whatever, you mean steals from the public and the people. Because they're villainous frauds. Troglodyte is wild. Very rarely do I hear a word I've never heard before. I'm surprised you haven't heard me say that before. I feel like I say it... I mean, maybe I haven't been saying it very recent in like... In recent times, but... I feel like I've used that word a decent bit before. Bro, literally all you have to do to like disprove anything that person was saying is just like literally like a 10 second Google search. It's very possible to get out of that cycle with hard work, good ideas, and innovation. Oh, okay, so great, great point. Great point, great point. Um, so how exactly that might work for like one percent of people probably less than one percent but i'm just curious uh what about the people who are born into poverty that literally never have the facilities to become what they might have otherwise become in life to like maybe be that innovative person or that doctor or that influential person that die in poverty because of health care lack of education um and the lack of food, literally anything else I can think of. What would you say for those people? Did they just not work hard enough? Did they not have enough good ideas? Did they not innovate food into their stomach good enough? Did they not innovate the healthcare they couldn't afford well enough? Curious. No, that's really fair, Zylo. Circle of life, baby. Circle of life, man. What do you could do? F survival of the fittest. You know, if your parents were poor and you're born into a poor family, oh, just fucking oh, die, I guess. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Just fucking die, unfortunately. Unlucky, I guess. All of those things are provided in fair amounts in decent countries to give... Bro. No. No, they're not. You are objectively wrong. Are you gonna sit here and try to act like people don't die of malnutrition and hunger every fucking year in the millions are you what fucking world are you living in are you living in fucking la la land in decent countries um in oh my god oh my god okay i'll do a google search i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it how many people die in america due to poverty every year Okay, so um, as you can see here, and as you can see here, 183,000 Americans die on average due to poverty. Um, I pay my taxes. What the fuck are you talking about? I pay my fucking taxes every fucking year. The fuck you mean contributing to society, you dumb fuck, you dumb bootlicking fuck face? What the fuck are you talking about? So you don't have a job? What the fuck do you mean? You're literally watching me do my job right now that I make income and pay taxes on yearly. 
So what the fuck are you talking about? You wear makeup and talk shit about people that contribute? Okay, again, dumb fuck. As you can see, um, I make money from what I do. Um, 43... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't even wear makeup, but thank you for that, though. I do appreciate that. I don't even wear makeup, but thank you. I'm glad you think I'm so pretty you think I'm wearing makeup. But no, I'm curious. Dirty pecker. What's up with that? You said that in decent countries, all those things are provided. Why? What's up with this? Why? Why aren't? Can you respond to what I'm showing you on the screen? Um, or is that? No, no comment. Did those lives not matter? Just wondering. Dozen, dozen of billionaires in the world today are descendants of Walmart. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome that people who are born into immense wealth will just continue this horrible system. The right are snowflake. Dude, the right are... Everything that the right consists the left of doing is just projection, bro. They're such snowflakes. I like how he says, dude, I like how he says I don't contribute or I don't have a job when I'm literally doing my job right now and I pay taxes. Big respects. I appreciate it. Thank you. It doesn't make any sense. Like everything that he said is wrong. Do I have a traditional job? No, obviously not. But I do have a job. Angle were just raided with three viewers. Yo, thank you for the raid. How is your stream? Sorry, I'm just arg I was arguing with a dumb fuck. And he left before he could actually provide of any anything of value. <laughs> <laughs> Never own a home. This is not a job. Bro, back in the day, people could literally fucking go to college, work a part-time job. And still save up enough money to get a fucking house. Making way less money than we are making nowadays. Shocker exists. It was some bull. Why was it some bull? Shocker, that was his first chat. God, dude, again, like, it's so hard to not, like, lash out at people like that. No, 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 don't ban, don't ban. I'm curious to see what he says in the future. It's very hard to not lash out at people like that. But at the same time, like, you know, he was, like, he's born into a capitalist society and he hasn't yet broken free of, of his, his change. He's still brainwashed. We'll see if you have anything else to add. A big part of people dying poverty is how the government uses their taxes. We have the incredible ways when it comes to. Our, I mean, I mean, like if we're being serious, we fucking spend on our military budget ten times more than the next like ten nations combined. Imagine if even like a fraction of that went into healthcare, education, infrastructure. No, then I'm sure you'll you'll have people like fucking dirty pecker saying, actually, um, actually, billionaires should be getting more money and be paying tax less. Again, he literally has the same exact mindset as that other dude. He has, he has a uh, peasant brain. It's like that's the best way to put it. They think it's really fair and awesome. That certain people in life are afforded luxuries that other people are not afforded just because of the circumstances of their birth. And when, like, it's so hard to have a conversation and convince people like that. Six second video? Nah, you're chilling, Angel. Oh, that's so brutal. 
Dude, been there, done that, Angel. I'm sorry to hear that. React to a six second video. Is it me saying mithol again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that what you're wanting to yell when I was yapping? If you were to guess what I thought about it, Kane, based on the things I've said, what would you guess? No, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending over what you did. I appreciate that, Angel. You're a goat. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to hear that your stream ended up shitty like that. Crashing or whatever, but I appreciate you nonetheless. Of course. Well, it's because there really there isn't a point to be made. There, there's no real point, no factual evidence. I mean, you have people like Dirty Pecker literally living in some alternate reality where, oh, every person that needs to be taken care of gets everything they need. They get food and shelter and everything. And then you bring up, oh, 183,000 people die on average per year due to poverty. I wonder what that's all about. Surely it might be something to do with them not getting the facilities that they need to stay alive because of poverty. No, surely not. Not in a decent country. Maybe in one of those immigrant countries. Maybe one of those backwards immigrant countries that's happening. Not here. Not America, baby. No way. Schlag literally said decent country. God, I... Ugh. It's so hard not to lash out at people like that. But then I remember I'm talking to someone that probably has a combined, like five brain cells or they're just brainwashed as fuck either one yeah see i don't know i was born into a home i had everything taken care of for me clearly that's the case for everyone i don't know i can't imagine people having a life different than mine everyone lives the same exact life in the same exact circumstances. No ifs, ands, or buts. No siree. I almost slotted that. Well, that's, that's another, another thing I like talking about is we, we idolize and we worship the military here in America, yet we don't give a, we don't give a fuck about our veterans, literally not a single fuck. What robot said sums it up indoctrinate them when they're young and impressionable promise them all these things talk about how awesome the military is and then when they get back from from their tour or wherever toss them aside like trash and don't give a fuck about them maybe they get like five percent off at like fucking ihop or something thanks for your <laughs> thanks for your service here's here's three pancakes at like at like 30 cents off My stream's going pretty good, Angel. I've been on a little bit of a rank grind. Burke, I do appreciate your LMAOs and your LMFAOs. It's like I'm doing a stand-up routine and you're that one person laughing, laughing in the back that make that makes everyone laugh. I do appreciate it. somebody clip please and they'll find a way to defend it all well see i mean this is literally a, i'm pretty sure someone correct me if i'm wrong this might be a quote from Karl marx or some other socialist communist i don't fucking remember exactly it's easier to envision 
or it's easier to imagine the end of the world than it is the end of capitalism. And it's because of people like that. It is so much e easier to continue, like put it this way, in terms of difficulty, in terms of ease, in terms of, you know, just kind of turning your brain off and whatever, going with the status quo. <laughs> hurts. It's much easier to go with the status quo and it's much easier to continue to uphold a broken system, even if you yourself are also getting fucked by it than it is to actually envision one that might be better for more people. It is very clear that this system is broken for the overwhelming majority of people. The class divide continues to grow more and more and more. Rich people continue to get richer. Poor people continue to get poorer. Did my teammate just flip for the mid boost? I'm gonna fucking puke. Cupid hit me, Cupid hit me with precision. Uh. These twos games have been tough. Bro, I'm done playing. I can't take that. Holy fuck. What a throw. You're such a fraud robot. I'm only going to play like a couple more games. What am I doing up so late? Oh, you don't know about my DGEN schedule. This is pretty normal for me. All right. If I win this game, I'm hopping off. Said I'm sick of, sick of, sick of, sick of chasing In the water, the way running through my daydream I... Hell yeah, robot Hell yeah, hey, that's a W, Shadow Kane, what confuses me when people say stuff like that is why. So if socialism or communism aren't worth trying out or worth being in uh, as an option, then what is? We just continue with what we have now? Like, what is what is the solution that you think? Like, what is a solution? How do we stop what's happening? I don't think I don't think socialism and communism is only for an ideal world. Welcome back, Dylan. I think the only reason that people think that way is because of capitalism in the first place. If I'm being quite honest. The fact that it's just like some fairy tale world or whatever. Like, capitalism has not always existed. Like, capitalism has existed for a blip in how long history actually is. Great. 
No, literally, Fugu. Like, if if communism or socialism isn't the answer, then like, what is? Like, what's currently happening now isn't, like, bad capitalism or something. Like, this is... What's happening now is literally... The system is working exactly as intended. It's not because of corrupt people or whatever. It's literally working exactly how it, it was always meant to. Can we at least get some healthcare going? No, it's too communist. Sorry. Hey, hell yeah, Sad Dweller. I'm super happy to hear that. Have a good night. Get some sleep. I'm glad you had a good night. Like, I just want to know why is it unattainable to give everyone healthcare? Why is it unattainable to give everyone shelter? Why is it unattainable to, to have everyone's basic needs met? Like, I just... What is un unattainable about that? I don't understand. We have the money for it. We have the facilities for it. We have, every, we have everything that is needed to set that up and do that. So why? Why is it unattainable? Why... Oh my god, no way I'm getting dusted like that there. Not even close. Oh, my teammate missed the boost. Oh my god, both our corners are gone somehow. Score that. Nice. It's, there's no purpose in the problem with is people are dissatisfied the feeling they're doing more work, but those receiving a small amount to them. I don't, I don't really think that at all. Maybe like in monarchies or whatever, you don't think there's been like points in history where people are like working for the others around them and everyone has their roles. Like there's like the farmer, there's the doctor. I don't. Okay, sounds good. Hi, Badger. How are you? There has been many points throughout history where that is not the case. Capitalism has made people more individualistic. It's made people more selfish. It's made people less empathetic, less caring. And they only, a lot of people just only give a fuck about themselves and no one else. That's not like human nature by design. I think, naturally, humans are kind. Naturally, humans want other humans to not get harmed. Naturally, humans don't want to see others suffer, be upset, die. That is what is natural. What happens is the system that we're in makes people unempathetic, makes people uncaring. They think, oh, well, it's not happening over here. Or I'm alive, my family's alive, so I'm okay. While millions die year after year after year due to problems invented by capitalism. Bro, just like the the concept of like the fact that like when people have like a medical emergency, we set up like GoFundMe's in America. That's so gross. Like Ugh. I, I'm yapping too much. I'm gonna, I can talk about this all night.
fuck. Spawn, spawn. That was such a good touch, holy shit. That would have been so fucking lucky. Schlag messed up the breezy and almost recovered. Oh! Spawn, spawn, spawn. Do I have Discord? Command Discord, baby. Holy fuck. How many saves have I made this game? Please don't let this be a goal. Thank you. Hey, right, this is good. Oh, what? I thought I had that. Careful. I'm getting scared. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna get off. It's not it's not worth it. I can't I'm playing it this time, I'm just gonna lose my mind. Don't get me wrong, I'm not aside of capitalism. I'm just playing Devil Having there downside and some fun. It's all good, it doesn't feel like a beneficial discussion. Well, I mean like I'm not gonna sit here and act like a transition to socialism or communism is like some overnight affair that wouldn't require serious reform and serious change. I don't think I anyone with a brain would be saying that it's easy or uh, wouldn't be difficult or is all, like wholly and entirely good like there isn't going to be things to overcome. I think what matters is moving towards a system that is better for more people and that causes less suffering and causes more people to live dignified lives in a manner that they want. That is what matters to me. Okay. With that being said, I'm ending stream. I'm going to sleep. Get me out. Threes went great. Twos went horrible, bro. Not worth it. So stupid. Exactly, Zylo. But thanks, Kane. I appreciate you having a conversation in a way that didn't make me immediately angry. Um... Who do I raid? Oh, Sabathon? Oh. <laughs> what is he playing? What is this? Why am I so intrigued? Okay. Um, I don't know who to raid. We can raid Miss Macho on the partner grind, I guess. Why not? Stream for almost nine hours? I think she's still playing. Face Banks. I've never seen Nile Red now. Sorry. Wait, she's ending? Oh, fuck, you're right. Oh, man. Never mind. Let's raid Outlaw, I guess. All right.
Quack. All right, well, show her some love. Hey, YouTube, I appreciate you. I love you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the subs and all that stuff today. Appreciate you. Goodbye, YouTube. Have a good one. Mwah. Don't forget to join my Discord or follow me on Twitch if you want to keep up with that. Bye. Okay. Now I got to put you to bed, Twitch. All right. Show Fantasy out lost some love. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, um... Yeah. Never forget that I am just a makeup wearing yapper that complains about people that contribute to our beautiful system, but don't contribute myself. Never forget that. Okay. Have a good one. Peace.